things. Uh, the boys in the seventh grade have worked so hard, and um, the selected scenes are from a playwright who specifically gears his work toward middle school. His name is Ken Bradbury, and we're very excited about the show today. I have a couple of things to tell you about. We ask that you kind of suspend your reality a little in one scene where there's an imaginary horse that's brought on stage. And also, David Hotze has graciously stepped in for Harry Parlett, and I know we all are wishing for Harry to join us again at school really soon. So David is going to be carrying a script because he just was given this part um, a few days ago. And I think that's about it. This is kind of a cross between Saturday Night Live and Monty Python. Yes. Awesome. And we like to call it Proceed at Your Own Risk. Yes. So without further ado, here is the Regis Knight Theater Company. Right this way. Wait a minute. I want to see the doctor. 
You have an appointment? Oh, well, you just said I had one. Um, you, you just, well, this is unfair. These people are going ahead of me. Is the doctor in? <laughs> Certainly. There's no waiting today. Go right in. <laughs> <laughs> this is unfair. They're all going ahead of me. Why are you here? I want to see the doctor. The doctor's all out, out all week. He's gone to Portland. <laughs> what? Look for yourself. The waiting room is empty. Did you come to do the carpets? The carpets? Oh, we've had the most awful time with this carpet. It's made from this new stuff. A thasgrophobia, I think. It keeps coming apart around the edges. He's tried to ignore it. Ignore it. I don't understand. Look, somebody spilled cheeseburger and fries all over the thing. I'm leaving. What about the carpet? I give up. You haven't even tried. It's like I don't even exist. Hello, Mom? Yeah, this isn't your only son. Jalen, I was the one crying on the day I was born. <laughs> I'm not a telemarketer. Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry to bother you, Mrs. Whalen. Well, that settles it. I don't even exist. I can't. I can't. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. He was such a good man. He meant so much to all of us. What are you talking about? I hope it was painless, or, you know, he lingered. The doctor said he just went for a simple checkup. We had no idea about his condition. What condition? I hope it was painless. I feel fine. He looks off. I feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> he just got that perfect job selling exotic carpets next to that French bread joint. Even his own mother knew it spelled his hash reform. That's impossible. My mother is a terrible speller. I hope you're happy with yourself. With what? Leaving those three children all alone while you fly off to Portland. I couldn't even get on the plane. I can't. I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> Portland? That flight has been so 
sold out. There's a Star Trek convention in Portland. What? The carpet dealers are in town that weekend, and uh, you're scheduled for an 8.30 appointment with Dr. Spock in the Athasmophobia Cheeseburger Room. By the way, did you want fries with that? <laughs> <laughs> the most awful dream. It's like I didn't even exist. None of us will exist if we're late for the Howie's exam. <laughs> <laughs> Not 
That's real good, man. Real good. But did you see anything strange? A steering wheel. Right? No steering wheel. That's real good. Anything else that you don't see? Radio. I don't see any radio. No. That's real good. But is there anything else that you don't that you see wrong with your horse? My horse's head. It fell off. My <laughs> horse's head did fall off. You're on the wrong end. My horse's head's on the wrong end? <laughs> no, you are. Touch him right here. Nope. Well, uh, well that means I'm gonna have to. That about does it. Three green horns for an hour, a hundred dollars each. Well, I think I'll be able to do about twelve a day. They don't call me the sneakiest cattle wrestler in the West for nothing. Well, howdy, Ned. Back so soon? Uh, you leave them in the usual ditch? It'll take about a, a day to get out of there. That's a good boy. Why don't you go on back to the stable? Um, I wonder when the next group's coming in. Well, looky here. You tenderfoots are now Pecos Cody's Wild West really bad guy, really bad guy outlaw camp. Welcome. <laughs> I can't believe it. 
can't believe I got it. My first new car. This is great. I've never driven a new car with a lot before. Hmm, your new car is equipped with the newest onboard computer system. This thing is so awesome, we don't even include instructions. Cool, but who cares? I just want to cruise trip. Well, here goes. Passing your seatbelt. Huh? Well, I guess it talks to you. Alright, here we go. Your seatbelt is twisted. Oh, wow. Gee, thanks. Wow, I'm already talking to my car. Alright? Alright, I hope I'm ready now. Yes, you are. Alright, now that's weird. Destination? Huh? What is your destination? Hi. Where are you going? I don't know. It's a new car. I just want to drive it around and show it off. That is not a valid destination. I know that. <laughs> what is your destination? Alright, look. I'll go to the mall, then turn around and get to the shopping center. Okay? Turn left. I know how to get to the mall. From look both ways. <laughs> I'm approaching from the left. I can see that. It is not safe to proceed. Oh, I gotta find a way to switch that voice off. This vehicle uh, has no owner service parts. Please not attempt to reconfigure this vehicle to your own benefits. The mall is seven blocks ahead on your right. Uh, you're now at exact point four nine six miles. I can see the sign from here. You're tailgating truck in front of you. I'm at a stoplight. Please maintain a safe distance. You want me to move back and get behind me? The stoplight will turn green. You can see that? Please proceed with caution. Look, you want to drive? Please proceed with caution. Oh, <laughs> well, I know. I'll turn up the radio really loud and drown out that voice. What station do you wish? I don't know. You mean you switch the stations for me? You're all new station wagon as you cook with XM radio. Please select the station. I don't know. Something loud. How about Little Wayne? 20% of automobile accidents are caused by drivers distracted by loud music. I should now select Beethoven Symphony 7th and A major. No, you won't. <laughs> um, please receive the caution. Uh, oh, no. You have, you have just encountered the rear bumper of the 1950 Rolls Royce. The driver of the Rolls Royce is now getting out of his truck. <laughs> Look, mister, I'm really sorry. Yeah, I've got insurance. No, I don't think it did much damage to my car. $720.14, including all applicable and federal state and state taxes. Shut up! <laughs> oh, no, not you, sir. Yeah, look, I'll give you my name and address, and I'll give you a call tonight. Uh, oh, man, I'm so nervous, I can't even remember my own address. 412 Oak Street Apartment 7B. I know that. <laughs> I mean, I knew that I'd run into somebody, somebody so if I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I'm really sorry. <sighs> Thanks for being so nice. You did this. Stop <laughs> letting now turn red. I'm not going anywhere until I shut you off. Please receive the caution. Oh, I don't know. You have just encountered fire. You have just encountered a fire. <laughs> Hey, mister, pull over. Pull over, I need you. Excessive emotional outbursts are caused by 12.7 12 automobile accidents. Look, I don't care what it costs, I want you to take that car back to the dealership. Please do not leave your uh, all-new station wagon unattended. But trust me, <laughs> it's defective. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me you're a pain in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> there, look, there is a solution. A solution? The knob just above the ignition switch. It's my sensitivity control. Your sensitivity control? You may adjust it to your preference. Can I just turn you off? If you want to show me forever. Look, you put me in a real situation here. Look, just try adjusting the preference. <sighs> right there. What do I do now? Give me a command. Alright, uh, how do I get to the movie theater? You think I can't find yourself? You're a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's all I gotta do all day. Sit around your dashboard computer taking orders for some lame brain who doesn't even know his own, how to work his own new car. What are you doing? You twist, you adjusted my purposes. You don't like it that way? Twist now again, Bubba. Alright. <laughs> there. Has anyone told you you have the most gorgeous eyes? Uh, <laughs> the way you adjust the controls. 
It's quite lovely. <laughs> uh, wrong setting. The posted speed limit, speed limit is 35 miles per hour. You are now approaching 37. Good. You just ran a yellow light. I like the color. Your seatbelt is twisted again. See you fine. It's, st it's stylish. You must stop the car immediately. I'm about to. I'm about to. Do it. Do it. I, 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 I. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
get that right. <laughs> All right, you first. We're getting sleepy. Sleepy. <laughs> nice. Such simple creatures. All right, Hickory? Yeah. Hickory? Uh-huh. It's almost 1 o'clock. Oh, no, no. no! But you're happy. Because you love the clock. The clock is your friend. Hi, clock old buddy. <laughs> the clock brings you joy. Uh, happy, happy. Joy, joy. Happy, happy. Joy, joy. <laughs> happy, happy. Oh, okay, calm down, calm down. <coughs> you start to climb the clock. Oh, the clock is your best friend. Uh-oh. Uh, hi, clock old buddy. Want to come over to my house and watch Tom and Jerry on my flat screen 80 inch TV? We <laughs> even need some Cheetos. <laughs> you start to climb the clock. The clock strikes in 10. Wait up, clock! Don't start without us! Eight, <laughs> seven, six, Five. I'm tingling all over. Four. <laughs> Two. One. Bang! Can <laughs> 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 never get that right. <laughs> Why do I even try? Oh, you have a severe case of bonophobia. Bonophobia? Yeah, very rare indeed. Is our time running out? You could say that. You, you failed! Huh? You were a doctor, you're supposed to cure these things, and you, you failed! I think you're a quack! Dickery. <laughs> I'll have you know that I have cured in my career, I, I mean, Where'd yeah. you get your degree? From the convenience store? I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I've who? Who'd you cure? No one. I haven't <coughs> a single soul. How do you keep your job? <laughs> oh, it's awful. Old Mother Goose is my aunt. She got me the job. It's terrible. Oh, Jack Horn. Still sitting in the corner. How should those three men in the tub still floating out there somewhere? And your cousins, the three blind mice, they keep running into things. Sort of a dud, aren't you? <laughs> Dickery. Dickery. Nice. That guy's a fake. I'm not honest. I really tried. I I just can't cure anybody. <laughs> Look into my eyes. <laughs> what? All right, yeah, now. Look into my eyes. Now, you are getting sleepy. Sleepy. I am? Yes. And now, look! It's the big bad wolf. Huh? <laughs> You're the big bad wolf. Oh. Yeah. Ah! Oh, he's a bad. Bad wolf. You know, look, he's about to eat Little Red Riding Hood. Me hungry, she tasty. <laughs> you cure. You counsel him and you tell him what to do. Be nice. Oh, I say, what a lovely day. I've been working all morning on these muffins for Granny. Would you like to try one? <laughs> Good job. You did it. All right. Now, Jack, be quick. Jack, be. Nimble Jack jump over that imaginary candlestick. Ow! Oh! Ow! Ow! Oh, it really burns out! Quick, he's burning his bum! Uh, uh, Whatever you say, Doc! <coughs> wow! Stupid hill. <laughs> Tell Hashimai to stop, he 
a clock. Oh, darn! You ready? You? No. You think it's gonna be any easier this time? No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> We're doomed to a life bomb! 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 <laughs> All right, 20 seconds. Uh, look, look, maybe we won't, won't be so scared this time. Um, maybe. Uh, 10 seconds. Maybe we're used to it. Maybe you can handle it now. Five seconds. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's oh, awesome. Hey. Oh, 